And the farther you get from the city, the more ag the aggressive Delta variant is making an impact. Small communities have never had to deal with anything like this, and THV 11's Frederick Price talked with the hospital in southeast Arkansas to see what things are like there. In the small town of DeWitt, every day in this pandemic is a reminder that no community is exempt from the havoc of COVID-19. With the low rate of vaccination, I don't see any way but for it to get worse before it gets better. David Jessup is the chairman of the DeWitt Hospital Board, and he says the employees are simply stretched thin. In a situation like this, they're just, they're just overwhelmed is what it amounts to. And as I said, we really are not equipped to do all we want to do. The hospital has 25 beds, and as of now, six patients are admitted. Four have COVID-19, and nearly all of them are not vaccinated. With only one ventilator in the entire hospital, one respiratory therapist, and no intensive care unit, it's a grim reality for the staff. We just continue to do the best we can. According to the Department of Health, only 44% of the 3,000 people that live in this community are fully vaccinated. It's a number that pharmacists like Christy Whitmore wish were higher. And healthcare shouldn't be a, a division with us. We should all be supporting one another, helping one another, and getting through this the best we know how. She says part of her job as a healthcare provider is educating people. She spends time talking with patients who question the vaccine in hopes that they become more informed. So far, she says nearly all have changed their mind and gotten vaccinated. If you don't want the vaccine, you don't want the vaccine. Same way, if you don't want to take a medicine, you're not going to take a medicine. But I want you to be educated on what the vaccine actually is, what it actually does in your body. And she believes a lot of hesitation comes from information that is not true, that continues to fuel people's fears. Because a lot of the fears, you know, aren't based on facts and aren't based on statistics. And DeWitt, Frederick Price, THV 11 News.